The APS Global Physics Summit brings together some incredible science and great scientists. To cap our week here in Anaheim, we've caught up with some of this year's Cadley Foundation Special Symposium speakers. There were some really interesting topics this year as we got not one, but two symposia with two big themes. It's a quantum world and exploring the cosmos. Take a look at who we met. Ultimately, we're trying to study plant health and how plants survive. Um, how, how do crops grow? Can we get crops to grow better? Can we look at plants and know what, what we need to do to them to make them work better functioning, whether that's for biofuels or for food stocks? You know, my interests are a lot in just pushing the technique as far as we can. This could provide their very valuable markers of uh, their loss, because currently, when the first diagnosis is made, all the neurons, almost all of them, are already gone. So it's not possible to treat the patient, and that's our hope, to detect it early so the patient could be treated. It's interesting to have a different kind of clocks, one that is not purely electromagnetic, relying on the strong forces inside the nucleus, and we may use it to see if the established laws of physics in the standard model are also valid or if we find some deviations. Once quantum computers are built up more fully, and according to our framework, we can measure more or less the work in heat exchanged within a lattice gauge theory system using tools from quantum thermodynamics and quantum simulation. In the last seven billion years, we have that accelerated expansion, which so far was explained by the cosmological constant. What we're seeing today is that this acceleration is not as steep, and we seem to, to see a slowdown, a weakening of dark energy. This is the 100th year anniversary of quantum, but it's also the 10th uh, anniversary of the first gravitational wave detection. Uh, and so we're really just at the beginning of what we can learn with gravitational waves. I think the next 10 years, the next 100 years are going to be incredibly exciting. Those are the highlights, but you need to make sure you watch those interviews representing some of the very best of physics today. Head to the APS TV playlist to watch them all. You don't want to miss it. <laughs>